Ready? Start off okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you want to start? Man, your son's got more. <laughs> man, I can say anything though. Listen to me. Mike, Mike <laughs> pleasure to have you here, man. Yeah, Everybody say hi. Hey, come on down. We got we got two questions for you guys. Come on down. Come on over real quick. You don't want to be recorded? All right, I'll ask you off camera. All right, the first question, do you know for sure if you're going to be in heaven when you die? No? All right, the second question is why? Why should God let you into heaven? Ah, uh, yeah, we hear that often. Well, do you know the, what the Bible says about that? John 3, 16. What does it say, Kari? John 3, 16. You can get him on camera. Amen. And Kari, why should God let you into heaven? Because I believe in Jesus and he died on the cross and rose again and shared his blood for you and me. And so we believe that gospel. We teach our children that and we teach others that. That's what the Bible says. Whosoever believeth on him, because Jesus paid for the sins of the world. And so it's not what we do. Our goodness is not righteousness. Only his goodness is righteousness. So we all fall short. So believe on Jesus. He died and rose again. Jesus is God that was manifest in the flesh. So he's the most important person to ever walk this earth. And that's what we preach. Thank you for listening. Do you believe that message? Uh huh. But do you believe it? Believing is within the heart. In Romans 10, 9 and 10, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart, that God have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And it says, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So we're asking you to confess what you believe in your heart. And I want, I want you to believe that Jesus is your savior, not yourself. Jesus saves, we can't save ourselves. So I hope that that was a blessing to you. Thank you for coming over. God had you come here for a reason. Amen. What's your name? Tron? No, Dawn. Dawn. All right, Kale. That's my wife, Tay, my two sons, and this is Mike, my brother. <laughs> From a different mother. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys. Hey, no, 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 no plant sword fight. Hey, guys, two quick questions. No? So we just grab them up. I'll let you get the next one. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, can we ask you guys two quick questions? All right, Kari, what's the first question? Good question. Uh, I hope so. All right. So why should God let you into heaven? Well, because uh, I think I've been... Uh, uh, because, because I just think that I'm a good person. Okay. believe in Jesus and he died on the cross and rose again and shed his blood for you and John 3, 6, Amen. Amen. And that's Amen. what we, we train them up. And that's what the Bible says. Okay. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and yeah. thou shalt be saved. Yep. Yep. You know what Jesus Amen. did for us, right? Yeah. What's yeah. your name? Mohammed. Mohammed Kale. Yeah. Nice this is you. Mike. Nice this is my you. son, Kari, my nice wife, my other son, Caius. Nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. believe in Jesus. He did all the works. I Jesus agree. saves. We can't save ourselves. That's true. That's you know true. how we get righteous before God? How? Believe in Jesus. Abraham believed God and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. All right. Sure. Thank you, Mohammed. Yeah, take care. All right. <laughs> oh, did you didn't get your mic? Oh, he gave it to Kai. Kai took off with it. Uh uh, yeah. All right, two quick questions, guys, before you go. Come on over. Come on over. All right. That's right. All right, the first question is um, when you guys pass away, will you guys be in heaven? Yeah. You know for sure. You know for sure? Yes. All right, so why should you be in heaven? Because God is forgiving God and he's, He is died for us. To okay. save us and okay. salvation, and he is—he has grace. So, yeah. That's awesome. Who is God? Jesus. That's right. That's right. So he died on the cross, right? Yes. He resurrected he died for us. on the yes. third day. <laughs> 
just got to believe that gospel. Absolutely. Amen. Just come back to church. Did come you? Back to church. Okay. Yeah. Hey, all right. So she had to. She had to cheat notes. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. All right. All right. Good talk with you. God bless. <laughs> all right. Come on, guys. Two two questions. Yeah, they knew it. Come on, two quick questions, guys. Come on now. Come on. Oh, it's all right. Good stuff, Mike. Got your first one, okay? <laughs> she had the gospel. Well, she had it right. A little, she a little, little off, but she said it right. She didn't say herself, so that's good. Hey, sir. Two quick questions. Two quick questions, sir. No, no. How about you guys? Two quick questions, real quick, real quick. Are you smarter than a, a five-year-old? <laughs> two questions. <laughs> oh, six-year-old. <laughs> Oh, you're going to be seven this week, next, on Friday. It's your birthday. Oh, that's right. Happy birthday, Kari. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be seven. Man, you growing up fast. Man. Two questions, sir. Real quick. Two quick questions. All right. How about you guys? Come on down. Two quick questions. Yeah, that's right. You love Jesus? Awesome. Cool. Do, do you know he died and rose for the, or died on the cross and rose from the grave? I got All right, through. great. Two questions then. Yeah. Mike, you want to ask him? First question is, since you believe in Jesus, when you pass away, will you be in heaven for sure? I would like to believe so. Okay, so why? I'm, would a, I'm a little skeptical. Because I'm a okay. sinner, and I don't know where it's going to be. I, I, I believe that I'm going to go to heaven, but I don't know what heaven's going to be like exactly. I might be okay. the homeless man looking at the people eat lobster, <laughs> or I might be eating lobster. All right, that's fine. Um, thanks for being honest. Um, so if I asked you, why should God let you in heaven, how would you answer that? Uh, because that's where it gets a little bit complicated, yeah, a little yeah. bit harder. Um, <laughs> you know, I've changed. I've changed my life. I've completely uh, changed my life from what it used to be. I used to be a selfish man um, that put my needs and my wants uh, ahead of everybody else. And it's more about me doing things for other people now, and it gives me the peace and contentment that I feel like God wants us to have. All right. Yes. Good works are always great. We're always encouraged to do good works. But there's one thing in the Bible that tells us how we should be saved, and it says that we will be saved if we do this. Um, it's in 2 Corinthians 15. It's also in uh, Acts chapter 13. 13. Mm -hmm. uh, they explain how we're saved, and how we're saved is we believe that Jesus died on the cross and resurrected on the third day. Yeah. If we truly believe that within our heart, because we have to believe with our heart and not with our mind. Yeah. Because with the mind we can think a lot of things, but right. from the heart we believe it. Right. From the heart we utter what we believe, we right. say what we believe. Right. And that's what John 3 16 says, yeah, right? Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And I, I believe in all that stuff. I just, there's some self doubt that I have. Yeah. Um, I've been a Christian for about five years now, and I'm still wrapping my head around who I am and what I've done. Um, so it's probably some insecurities on my own end. I'm yeah. still trying to figure out. Yeah. We all got insecurities, we're all, we're all imperfect, but. Yeah. According to the truth, if we believe that, we are saved. Yeah. From the yeah. bottom of our heart. We have yeah, to know exactly. who Jesus is. And that's what he. He just memorized it. Yeah. He just memorized it. Yeah, the verse. Cool. What is it? Give it to us. He's got it. Take that hat off. This your son? Yeah. Awesome. Handsome little young man. The Lord so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Whoever believes in him shall not die, but go to, but have eternal life. All right. You know, John three sixteen. Car, you want to try it? Hey man. Hey man. Good job, guys. And the key word there was believeth. And that's what we're emphasizing because if we believe in ourselves, we all have sin. Oh, yeah. Most certainly. And so we won't make it. But only by the work that Jesus, when in John 19 30, Jesus said, It is finished. What was finished? The payment for our sins. So he paid for all the sins you and I haven't committed already. Well, he hadn't died yet. See, so he didn't, he didn't defeat death on the cross. He, did, he defeated death when he rose from the grave. But on the cross, he paid for all sins. See, so it's sins that you are still, right. you know, worried about. Right. Jesus already paid for it. Yeah. So just believe. Right. Just believe in yeah. Jesus. You That's know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. He's the only way. And, and God cannot lie, right? Right. He said, whosoever right. believeth on him. Right. 
So that's why. Yeah. Why why should he let me in heaven? Like, because I, need, I believe I on him. Yeah. Every day, yeah. Every day. Well believe it. Yeah. You believe from the yeah. heart. In Romans 10, 9, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus yeah. and shalt believe in thine heart, not in your head, in your heart, that God have raised him from the dead, yeah. thou shalt be saved. Yeah. So we just take him at his word. Yeah. And that's why we preach his word. Right. Hey, it's a pleasure meeting yeah, you. I hope you believe that, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Merry that. Christmas right. to you as well. Thank you. God bless. Low audio? Yeah, on the kids too. Um, on this mic or just the kids mic? The kids mic might he, be a little low. I guess when he, um, the kid was talking, he said. Oh, we couldn't hear the kid. Yeah, well, okay, I can't help that. We got to put a mic up to the kid or whoever's talking, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, you are recording it. Good, okay. All right, sorry about that. Thanks for the feedback. Hey, quick question, man. Real quick. I got to go to work right now. I got to go to work right now. All right, you believe in Jesus? He died on the cross, rose from the grave. How about you, madam? It's Christmas, Christmas, Merry Christmas. Two questions. Do you believe in Jesus? He died on the cross and rose from the grave. All right, how about you guys? Two quick questions. A seven-year-old wants to ask you two questions. How about, all right, how about this family? Can we ask you guys two questions? Oh, you got a second picture? <laughs> Get in on this. We all family. <laughs> all right, two quick questions, guys. Um, yeah, do you know for sure if you're going to heaven is the first question. We don't know. You don't know. All right, that's honest. And then the second question is why? Why should God let you into heaven? Why? Yeah. Uh, based in your action, based what, how you treat people, <laughs> how you are living in your life. Yeah. Jesus? Ah! <laughs> man, you're a smart man. You're a smart man. It depends on your action. Yeah. You know, in, in the Quran, it also says to read the books, yes? Exactly. Believe in the books. I do believe in all of them. I believe in Jesus, of course, as a messenger. Yeah. The books, yes. The books in the Bible actually clarify that Jesus is God. Jesus so is if, not God. If, as a Muslim, Jesus is a messenger. That's what I believe. In the Quran, it says it's a messenger. In the Quran, also yes. in the Quran, it says that we have to believe in the books. Of course, right. God, which yeah. is the Bible. Yeah. The so if in the Bible it says that Jesus is Almighty God, then we have to believe it. Yeah. I know there's a difference. It's all about Quran belief. It's not about what you do. Remember, Abraham, he believed God, Quran, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. We believe in the Bible for all the prophets. Okay, even Prophet, Jesus, Dawood, uh, and also Abraham. Oh. And, and we believe also in the box. Yeah. Uh, that's what I can tell you right now because I don't want to get myself right now oh. with a full, you know, discussion about the subjects. But I'm glad that well, but I'm Muslim, Muslim. Can he share a Bible verse with you real quick? John 3, 6, he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish. They learn in the word of God. And it, we just believe what it says. Whosoever believeth in him. It could be any anybody from any walk of life. Whosoever believeth. That's the love of God. For by grace are we saved through faith. And that not of ourselves is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. And that gift is Jesus that died on the cross 2,000 years ago. And all we have to do is believe on him. Everybody and then we're righteous because he makes us righteous with his shed blood. It says without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Right. His shed blood pays for our price, for our sins. And then we're righteous before God because nothing, because we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So all you need to do is break one law and you're guilty of them all. Correct. Yeah. So, so we can't, we can't be righteous before God. And we're just sharing that love of God. Believe on Jesus. He's your only way. Jesus said in John 14, 6, Jesus I believe, said, I, in, I am the I way. Believe, I, I believe in Jesus as he is a messenger. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you believe in Jesus that he's God? Well, yeah, Jesus made that, made that claim. He, in, in Revelation 1, 8, this is the revelation. You know, Revelation is the revelation of Jesus. So I'll show you right here in Revelation 1. It says the revelation of Jesus Christ. So it's revealing who he is. So if you go down to 1.8, it says he's saying, I am Alpha and Omega. He's the, first, the beginning and the last, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. He's claiming to be the Almighty. You either believe him 
or we call him a liar, and that's what we're going to be judged by no, on no, Judgment no, we Day. Cannot say that he's a liar, never. Exactly. Uh, we didn't ask yeah. anybody to say it like that. So, but what I want to tell you, yeah, based on the Muslims and the Quran, uh -huh. whatever it says about the Jesus, Jesus, he was being the ground, correct? But there's a, a people around of him who didn't believe in his mes message, which he got from the God. They try, they try to kill him, and the God is lifting him up. The That's right, That's God. What, what we believe in that. Yeah. And we believe in the Quran that the Jesus will become well, back again yeah. to the ground. Okay? Yeah. So in Revelation and, 1 uh, yes. Yeah. That's what we that, believe right? in. Well, that. well the and thing is. All the people in the yeah, world, they will be yeah. full well, of them. It's clearly yeah. talking about yes. Jesus. I heard the same Jesus. Of course. Yes. Uh, yeah. Same Jesus, yes. But look, but, but also, real, just real quick, 1 Timothy 3 16. See? It says, and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Yes. God was manifest in the flesh. That's Jesus. Was my manifest in the flesh. Appeared. Yes. Justified God in the spirit, the seen of angels, preached unto church. the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up in the glory. In order for him to save man, he had to put on flesh and become a man. That's what G Jesus is God in the flesh. That's why he's, that's why he's both man and God. And that's how man is saved by Jesus. He shit. He had to. God is a spirit. He doesn't have blood. He had to put on flesh so he could have blood and pay for our sins with his blood. There's so, the, so yes. Yeah, so God is Jesus in the flesh. Okay. Jesus is God, and that's what. That's all we're preaching, and that's all we want you Thank to believe. You. Thank you. Hey, Thank I you appreciate you listening, man. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. 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 Have a good Christmas. You guys visiting or you live around here? Or? You guys visiting California? You visiting or you live around here? Okay. Oh, they're visiting. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys came down. Where are you guys from? Qatar. Qatar? They are from Doha. Y'all, they came pretty far. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you guys came here to talk to us. And I have another son also in Michigan. My family is from Syria. We came just on Thursday. Oh, Syria. So it's Syria. I don't like. I grew up here, so I speak Armenian. Oh, okay. This is my brother from another mother. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, hey, Thank pleasure, you. guys. Good pleasure, good pleasure. Good pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Bye All right. Bye -bye. Yes. They can, still can't hear? This mic is not working? This one's not working. Oh, okay. Hi, Tay. Because you're managing it. Where Kaya's at? Oh, okay. Kaya's be careful. <laughs> you're doing good. That's awesome, man. This is, we got to do this more often, man. This is good. This is good. This is good. All right, guys, two quick questions. Come on down. Two quick questions. Come on, real quick. Real quick. How about, how about this couple? Two quick questions. <laughs> That's it. God, Jesus. <laughs> all right, two questions. What's your name, first of all? Oh, you got me. Emmanuel. I got you. Emmanuel. Hey, that's hey. the name. Hey. Oh, God with all. There the you go. See what I'm saying? I, I, now you yeah, see yeah. the light is shining. Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mike has two quick questions for right, you, Emmanuel. You get in on this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. all, right, all, right. all right. So the first question is, one day when you pass away, will you be in heaven for sure? Um, I'm honestly not convinced that heaven exists, so I, okay. I guess my, I have, I have no clue. When I die, bro, I have no clue. And you're well, named after God. Come on now. <laughs> I, know, I just still don't know, man. Like, uh, honestly, honestly, I don't know, so I'm not going to tell you Well, that. you know know is knowledge, right? The only way you know is by reading. Have you read his Bible? I've, some of it, a decent amount. Like, All right. Oh, you want to ask the second question? Sure. Okay, let's say if there is a heaven, if, there, like, if you don't believe in it, that's just, as an example. Okay. If there is a test, heaven. Test, right. test, test. Why would God let you? Can you hear it all? Test, test, test. Mm -hmm. Can you hear it? Test, test, test. That's a good question, right? Oh, you know what? Let me see. Let me see. No, no. I think it may be the audio has to be switched over. Well, it's the guaranteed everlasting. Ah, okay. internal okay. microphone. That's why. Black Magic Audio. There you go. There you go. Is that better now? Can all right, ask him if it's working now. You know for sure? Oh. Why, why should God let you? Where are you seeing it? I'm just seeing it Oh, over here. here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect. 
God so loved the world. See, you even know it. You're like, <laughs> <Emmanuel>. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, You don't believe it, though. Yeah, we want you to believe it. Right. Yeah. Well, I would too, man, but like, logically for me, it's like, till I, I can Where's the mic? Oh. For some reason, like, I used to believe in it, but then I really, like, I legitly realized, I was like, yo, if I had grown up somewhere else, like, I would have had that belief too, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I really... I kind of reevaluated and I realized that I never actually made that choice for myself. You never really believed. I was brought up into it, which is nothing wrong with that, yeah. but that just means I didn't actually ever check it out before I were, yeah. you know, accepted yeah. it. Yeah. That, yeah. That makes sense. Well, it's yeah. about, uh, that's what believing is receiving. What happened? I'm sorry, go ahead, Mike. It's okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, right, quit being mean to your brother. If you believe in something, you believe it. If you don't, you don't. So, John 3 16 was very simple. You know the scriptures. You know the concept. You still love the world that you gave the concept. Whosoever, whosoever could be anybody. It doesn't have to be just a Jew. It doesn't have to be a Greek. It doesn't have to be whosoever. It's just right. Whosoever believe it on the So, believe it on him. You shall not perish, but have. That's my. It's like you shall have it. It's a guarantee. It's, if it's you a, believe, right? If you believe. That's yes. If you don't, if you don't, then no. Actually, yeah. the Bible says if you don't believe, now, it's wrath. Listen, so what about all the like other religions? Like they have hells. Are you not worried about going to those hells? No. Well, according to the scripture, there's only one one hell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot one of religions. Because right. yeah. actually, there's three some hells. that are. Right, yeah. That but yeah, them. this is the only book. The King James Bible is the only book that promises heaven. None of the okay. other religions do. Okay. And so, this is a guarantee. And this is the only book that doesn't have any errors in it. It's never lied. It says, he that believeth on the Son, who's the Son? Jesus. All right? Yeah. Hath everlasting life. See? Okay. So you, I mean, that's... How do you know that's true, though? Is what I guess what I want to yeah. know. Because when you believe it, it's true. And he that believeth not, shall, uh, the Son, shall not see the life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. So you know it's true by wow. testing it with scripture. Jesus said, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So it's either a believer or non-believer. That's what, that's what judgment day is. Uh -huh. It's gonna be quick and easy. It's gonna be like, oh, you didn't believe. So you're right. judged by all your sins. I mean, but like, is that, would you wanna send somebody to hell just because they didn't believe in you? Uh, you know, if like, if you, for instance, if you never Well, like, what was your, your reason for someone going to hell? I wouldn't make a hell, honestly. I don't, I don't think it's moral to You, you wouldn't have a hell. prison? I might have a prison. Okay, well, that's what check, hell is. Check. It's like a prison. No, well, um, in, in all due respect, it's yeah. a little different because in, in jail, we try and in prison, we try and recuperate people back to society. It's a goal. It doesn't always happen. I'm not yeah. saying it does. Yeah. But I will say there is a, well, see, God, an aspect where we God believe is holy. People. No, God's sending people to hell. But God is holy. Heaven. God is holy. He can't allow any sin right. into his new heaven and new earth. Right. So if you sin, you're tainted well, already. Yeah, he yeah, he's in, he's in charge. I know, I know. So that's what I'm saying. So you have to do it his way. You can't you can't right, be God. Right. Let God be right, God right. and humble yourself to his rules. And his rules is believe on him. And he loved us so much yeah. that he sent his son. So all you have to do is believe. You don't have to what do if anything he's else. You, man? What if it's like you weren't supposed to believe? He's not testing you. That's I why that's why you go by the word. I See, so that. try the word. See this if is there's hard for me to for me to have faith, to be honest. That's well, it's not faith. Saying. It's not faith. It's, it's belief. Faith. You can, yeah. faith is not seen. You can right. see I mean, the scripture. Would you say you believe in the Son? Like, I believe in, like, yes. I, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That, I guess, okay. Yeah. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus uh -huh. and shalt believe in thine heart that God have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. See, I believe in Jesus. And I believe that Jesus was God that was manifest in the flesh. And so Jesus is our Savior. He's God that saved us. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of, gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. See, what you're doing is you're making it a work of your righteousness and trying to say, okay, God, I can prove, yeah, look what I've done. Well, I'm not even saying that I deserve to be in heaven, but I, like, I, you, I You're say saying you don't deserve to go to hell. I, I, yeah, basically. I mean, does it make sense, though, to punish somebody? Yeah. Like, would you lock your kid in a room for the rest of his life? For I, punish my, I punish my son for, for doing something bit, wrong. So so yeah. Grow, but, but this is this, this is, is life and death. And yeah, exactly. I this know. is black and I, white. I personally, I, I don't. I think there's. But what if you're wrong? Well, it's like Pascal's wager. You yeah. Find out, I guess, when I'm dead. And it's too but, late then. But then you then you got hells, eternity. But then I also have to worry about other hells. No, you I'm don't. No, you don't. Because those again. <laughs> Why those, not? No, because those because hells. Everybody else is telling me the same no, thing. No, 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 no. They're not. They're not saying believe. They're saying you have to work for it. We're saying you have to believe. 
See, you go to any religion, you have to work for it. You have to pray five times a day if you're Muslim. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This this reli this Bible and is I not a religion. It does not say. Too. I don't have to work anything. I mean, you know, go to work and stuff, but like, I don't have to work for anything. I know. Well, the, well, what I'm saying, you're taking the risk. It's just saying believe or believe not, and you're saying you're a non-believer, and that's what's going to send you to hell. It's a risk, but you're taking a risk too. How? There's other religions. You're but it, well, according to those other religions, I'm righteous. I'm living a righteous not life. Why not? We, we work right, I, I pray more than five times a day. Right. But and no, 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 I, I, you Islam know. and you know, Islamic view would probably say that you're wrong, right? And by no, they so believe in Jesus. Jesus is in well, their Quran. Well, they think he's a messenger, but they don't think he's we just the spoke holy, with actually inspired a, a Muslim man. Family. Just yeah, we, yeah, we just talked to him. It's yeah. similar. Yeah. yeah. It's the Old Testament. I actually, 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 their Quran is, supports is our Bible. Yeah. yeah. In the Quran, it says to read the books. And the books is the Bible. They Didn't know it also say to kill like the others that don't believe too? That's what they believe. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of weird like that well, that's not, to read uh, the book of the people they Yeah. God's not asking too. for any of that. Right. He's not right. asking for your works. Because you're always going to fail in your works. Always. It says if you've broken yeah, one life, definitely I'm not all. perfect. Nobody's perfect. I understand. Yeah, that, that, that's that's, that's that. the grace of God. Yeah. Like, he's not asking for it. Like, dude, just believe what I, what I did. Right. That's it. I mean, like, I, not, like I understand that. I just so do you believe that Jesus died on a cross? Dude, I'm not even quite convinced. Like, I don't know how much he actually existed. So right? the answer is yes or no. Do you believe it? Yes yeah, or no? He died for my sins. Did he die for your sins Definitely on a cross? Not that far, probably not. Okay. Well, that's what will send you to hell. And that's that's what the Bible's saying. I want you to know that. I mean, if you think that's moral for God to send me to hell for yes, really very moral. believing in that, yeah. then that's your belief, man. Yeah. I just, and I, like, Thanks for sharing with me. But yeah. I mean, it's just, I, I would never send somebody to hell just for not acknowledging. Well, you're not that God. Action. I'm glad that you're not God. We can't, we, we I'd be nice. I probably wouldn't send people to hell. Yeah, well, well I wouldn't want to be in your heaven if that's the case. Because then that means you got Satan and the rest of the people in your heaven. You wouldn't, even, you wouldn't even die. I promise you, bro, I could. That was originally for heaven. Satan. Yeah, yeah, it was right for Satan and the devil. And we, we weren't supposed to die. Remember, Adam and Eve yeah, ate of the tree and they and they chose to sin. Yeah, I but, think we, we have very different views, but it's always. But we'll we'll talk different. again on Judgment Day. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> we will, we will. Yeah. I'll see you again. I look yeah. forward to it, man. I always like arguing. Yeah. All right, All right. it won't be an argument that day. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Two quick questions, guys. Two quick questions, Can right here. Mic? Do you know for sure if is you're going really to heaven? Right? Yes, no, maybe so. What? To heaven, heaven uh, where Jesus is. All right, you heard of John 3, 16. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus saves. So if we believe in him, he'll save you and you can get to heaven. Does that make sense? You believe that? You believe Jesus died and rose from the grave 2,000 years ago? Yeah. All right, and that's all we're sharing. What's your name? Annie, pleasure to meet you. Believe that message, all right? And preach that with your friends. All right, God bless. How about you, sir? Two quick questions. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron, all right. Do you know for sure if you're going to heaven, Cameron? Uh, yeah. All right, and the second question is why? Why should God let you into heaven? I'm not sure. All right. Okay. Well, can I show you right here in Scripture? So if you look at John 3.16, actually look at 3.15. Oops. There it is, 3.15. It says that whosoever, are you whosoever? That's any of us, yeah. whosoever, believeth in him, who is him? Jesus. That's right. Should not perish, but have eternal life. It's that simple. What did Jesus do for you, Cameron? What? Sacrifice his son? Yeah. Yeah. And, and he didn't just stay sacrificed. He sacrificed him where? What? Well, he sacrificed him where? To the cross. That's right. He didn't just take a gun and shoot him. He actually went to the cross to die and shed his blood for it. What happened in three days, though? He rose. That's right. So you know it. Do you believe in it, though, from the heart? It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and you did, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So that's the knowledge of God. Do you believe it in your heart? All right, so let me ask you that question again. Based off of scripture, why should, and you see the word is should. See, oh, sorry. Right here it says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Why should God not perish you, but give you eternal life? Because they believe in him. That's right, that's it. 
God bless right, you, nice Cameron. To you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet share you. That, share that gospel with someone today. All right. All right. Just keep believing them. That's all that matters. Are you the mother? Good. Good. Welcome. No. no? I just heard nice what you guys Oh, I'm sorry. I just to say it's a good job. Oh, okay. Appreciate thank you. You believe in Jesus? Absolutely believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. He's my Lord and Savior. Amen. My husband over there uh -huh. is from Nigeria. Oh. He just immigrated here about a year ago. Okay. And our in-laws are um, pastors of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Awesome. Okay. So we, yeah. I just, awesome. I well, thanks for, yeah, thanks for coming over. We do it as a family. We're all family. We all share uh, the gospel of Jesus. Uh, is he a believer? He believe in Jesus? Amen. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, As a matter of fact, he, uh, it's kind of funny because he um, he just moved in. I mean, he just immigrated here. He's from a yeah. small village in southwest Nigeria. Wow. So he doesn't understand uh, American culture. Very yeah, well. yeah. It's probably yeah. really like, weird. It's, it's culture shock. <laughs> he's actually standing over there right now because he's kind of like standoffish. Uh, he doesn't like get out much. Okay. But, Funniest thing ever is that we've had Seventh Day Adventists and we've had Mormons and we've had um, Jehovah's Witnesses. Muslims, Jehovah's Witnesses. We've had, we've had all of them come to your door. door. <laughs> and the funny thing is, he has the Bible memorized. Really? Like, he can if you if you say scripture. I would love he'll, to talk to him. He speak he's English well. Good. Yeah, he speaks very good English. Ah, uh, uh, he's a little shy. You know, when he see the camera. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on down. We got to come to you. Come on, we're going to walk down there. If you <laughs> yeah, well, it should. If not, we'll make it work. We're going to walk over here real quick. <laughs> Hello, he's a little Okay. I mean, you, you talk the scripture to him? He knows it. That's good. And you say his parents are uh, ministers? Yeah, they're, they're pastors. Yeah, pastor. oh. pastors. Okay. Nigeria. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, we're hearing your story, man. Good to meet you, man. What's your name? I just, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Good, yeah, we're believers, man. It's my, it's my family. It's my son, Kari. It's my other son, Caius. It's my, my brother in Christ, Mike. Yeah, we hear you from Nigeria. Your family are pastors and preachers and stuff. So we were asking the two questions. Do you know for sure if you're going to heaven when you die? Fifty-fifty right now. All right, and then the second question is why? Why should God let you into heaven? What's that? You paid your dues. Well, you know what John three sixteen says. She said you know scripture. What does John three sixteen say? Should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Well, do you believe that? Say, whosoever believeth in him. So it's a, he judges us based off of who we believe in, not in what we do. You know Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, right? Remember that one? For by, uh, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And then Romans 10, 9, and 10, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in our heart that God have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And so that's, that's what we preach. We really just preach that true gospel of love and believe in Jesus Christ. All right? Yeah, well, hey, it was good talking with you guys, man. I was just man. telling them that you know the Bible like the back of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, it's not a good time, but I just want to get out. <laughs> he wants to go home. He wants I to hear. go back into his comfortable spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different here, huh? It's <laughs> tough getting him out. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't yeah, well, you great. came here for a reason, and it was a pleasure to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, likewise. You thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Guys, come on. All right. What, what time is it? We said about an hour, so it's been what, about 40 minutes. We'll probably we'll do a couple more and then wrap it up. I never ate here. You want to try this place out? Dukes? <laughs> I think we tried to eat there one time and it was packed. They're always pretty busy. All right. Come on. Two quick questions, guys. Come on over. No? Oh, man. <laughs> Sam, we're going to eat after this. How about you, man? Two quick questions. What's your name? What's your name? Colin. Colin? I'm Kale, man. It's Mike. Pleasure to meet you, man. All right, two quick questions. Mike, you got them for him? Sure, absolutely. 
You want to ask? <laughs> yeah, uh oh. All right, Colin. Uh, two questions. Um, when you pass away, do you know for sure you'll be in heaven or not? I know. Wait, you want to sure. Okay. And uh, why should God let you into heaven? I'm a good son. You're a good son. Yeah. Okay. You know who's a better son? <laughs> My Je brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, Jesus, right? <laughs> Go ahead. So there's one message that we're trying to just tell them, um, so they can know for sure that they can't go to hell. And it's a guarantee. It's not a... The mic is The scripture says that, and you know John 3.16, right? I'm sure you've heard of it. It says, uh, it doesn't matter. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, and that he shall believe it, and so will it anybody. So believe it in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. They shall not perish. Should not. Or should not, excuse me. <laughs> right. Right. Um, do you believe that message? Do you believe that Jesus came, he died on the cross, he resurrected on the third day? Now, that's all it really takes. Oh, man. Oh. That's what we ask. Because uh, according to scripture, that's the way we get to it. It's not of ourselves, it's not of our own works. Because all of us do good works. All of us do. And if we only rely on our good works, it's not, it's not what yeah. so, yeah, and then John 3.36 says, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. All right, we go catch with my family. All, All right. right, believe on him, okay? And he that believeth him not shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. Dang, that's sad, man. He doesn't believe. But hey, that's all we can do is preach. Good stuff. Hey, Kais, what is that? Yeah, let me see. I don't know what the heck that is. No, they're getting loud. All right, two quick questions, sir. Yeah. All right, what's your name? Jerry Kenton. Jerry Kale. Hey, do you know for sure if you're going to be in heaven when you die? I'm going to be there. I don't All know right. about you, but I, I'm going to be there. Yeah, I'll be there. And the second question is why? Why should God let you in? Because I'm a good man. All right, you know what Jesus did for us? I know what he did. I just went to Mass. I'm a Catholic. He, he died and rose from the grave. So we, we get there by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. All right? So believe on Jesus. <laughs> Hey, right. yeah, the other guy, yeah, he said he's Catholic. The other guy said he a uh, pastor's kid. You see, he was believing it works, yeah. All right, two quick questions, guys. Real quick, what's your name? Sorry. No? How about you guys? Two quick questions. Two quick questions, real quick, real quick. Uh, okay. All right, come on down. Two quick questions, guys. Come on, two quick questions. Two questions, two questions. How about you, how about you? All right, you just look like a smart man. Two quick questions, sir. Yes. <laughs> All right, this is Mike. What's your name? Michael. Scott. Scott, all right, I'm Kale. All right, do you know for sure if you're going to be in heaven, Scott, when you die? Just Thank two you. quick questions. Well, we believe in Jesus. He saved us. He died on the cross and rose from the grave, Scott. All right, we're going to do one more before we go. One good one. One more. Oh, they got, they got snacks and everything over here. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, somebody praying, too. What is that? Oh, just some Christmas stuff? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. No, that's pretty cool. You guys just giving it away to the public or what is praying for people? Oh, okay. Are you guys like a ministry or something? Yep. We're Yeah, well we fit, I hope. <laughs> we're a Jesus say church here in Orange County. Oh, are you? Okay. Are you the pastor or one of these pastors? No. Two of them are the founders. Oh. So yeah. All right. Just meeting homes. All right, well, we're out here ministering about Jesus and we're sharing the gospel of Jesus. And we got two questions for you. You don't mind, mind doing the two questions? I don't know. All right. I'll answer. All right, the first question, what's your name? I'm David. David, I'm Kale. This is Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. All right, do you know for sure if you're going to be in heaven when you die? Absolutely. Absolutely, awesome. And the second question is why? Why should God let you into heaven? Jesus died and rose again. I believe in that. Amen. That's it. That's it. And that's what we, we preach. And if people like don't it. say that, we'll share them, uh, the like gospel, it. right? That's, that's, what, that's what matters. <laughs> I like it. That's what matters most. That's awesome. Are you guys sharing the gospel yeah, over here? absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, so, like, we did some time. We, a couple of uh, our church members took some time and wrote, like, Christmas cards is what we're calling them, but they have prophetic words on them for people uh -huh. um, from the Lord. And so... We're just going to be out here praying for everybody and sharing the gospel. Yeah, well, we've got to preach that gospel. That's Absolutely. awesome. That's what it's all about.
Cool. Thanks for good meeting yeah, you guys. Thanks, it. man. What was, what was Kale. Kale. Kale, like the vegetable. I like you it. You can't forgive me. I'm with good for you. There you go. With, with a K. K. Yeah. There you go. Mike. Mike. <laughs> you if you guys need something or you want some coffee, appreciate feel it, free. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I think that ended. Where, where did uh, Mop? Oh, there she is. All right. There's your cookies. All right. You want to sign off, Mike, for your first one? Yeah. <laughs> Mike cool. signing off. I need to get a gold chain next time. I'm not too cool. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> Car, you have fun? Yep. Love you guys. All right, we'll do it next time. God bless. We out. We're out of here. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. <laughs>